Welcome one and all, this is the Peace Dealer, and this is another weekly installment of your astrology and tarot forecast. As you can see, I am on an exclusive Peace Dealer beach. I talked to certain representatives and I was able to pay for this beach cash, alright? It's off of the island of Nunya. And, uh, it's in between Nanya and B. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a, it's a very petty island in between Nanya B. Nanya and B. Alright. Jokes aside. Thank you once again for tuning in. This is gonna be a very amazing week that shows you how possible it is to experience miracles that you may not have expected. Here's a good analogy. You may be looking two weeks ahead or two months ahead to achieve some breakthrough in your romantic or just energetic connections with others only to experience it's happening this week. The whole theme of happening and experience is very powerful because we have Venus in Sagittarius. So allow Venus to show you the possibilities of who you can connect with, but allow Mars and Scorpio to let you know what you really desire. So amidst the possibilities, pay more attention to what Mars is showing you you really desire as that's the green light for you. And it's important to keep full mind of that because it will very greatly illustrate and show you how to discern between what may seem to be right versus what is really right. But regardless with the Sagittarius energy, it's just meant to show you that um, there we're headed into a certain twist of events that you will have never have expected. But provided you keep this open mind, be really positive for you. So I'm going to pull Oracle cards for each of the elements, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This is not really the best week to confront people on the stuff they're doing that's really pissing you off because your emotions will either A, get gaslighted or no one, no one's really going to care. No one's really going to care, like at all, because everyone else is just sorting through difficult emotions and thoughts and, and, and sensations. You might want to wait until a week or two to bring up some stuff for now and just kind of let things blow out. Be a bit patient. We have spent some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in significant relationships with talking, listening and talking to one another, to each other. All right. Earth, Capricorn, Virgo and Taurus. Same message for you. You know, just kind of lay off on all the the petty bringing up. Petty meaning insignificant. You know what I mean? Like, if something's not really that important, don't bring it up to your partner. Or don't don't bust the balls or the ovaries of someone you're about to get with because of minor stuff they do. Because especially with you, Earth, you're going to... Especially if you're single, you might meet someone who's, like, perfect for you. But... You might pull some Virgo stuff and it's like they they don't know how to say they, there, and there, which will be a deal breaker for me. But don't let that be a deal breaker for you. Don't be petty like me. Like, well, let me not call myself petty, but don't, don't, don't worry about the insignificant details because in both the case of water and earth, what may seem to be a potential for disaster will actually turn around quite well in twist style fashion. So we have have faith. Trust your faith in this situation and definitely don't give up when it comes to, you know, any developments in your relationships with others. There we go. Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, when the time allows it, especially this week, you must speak your truth. All right. You're tapped into a vibration in the air, which makes you out there. OK, so don't worry if people think certain things you do are weird or not. You owe it to yourself. I took a peek at the card just in case it was a bad card and I have to do it again. I'm just joking. Uh, there, there, you, you, when the time allows it, you have to speak your undiluted, undivided truth. All right. 
the type of truth you speak and it's like, damn, this person might think I'm weird. Now, you're not just going to say it out of random. The opportunity will present itself. And when it does, do so. Ooh, it's going to be great. And we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So embrace the whole serendipitous energy that will bless you this week. And there's going to be a powerful miracle in love that will really help you believe uh, in the process and know what you've gone through has not been in vain. All right. Fire, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you have to take an action in love this week or in anything to do with the heart that has never been done for, before and will most likely be misunderstood. So don't let that stop you. Some of you may have a bit of insecurity or unconfidence because what you're doing is something that to a lot of people may feel weird, but to the person you're going to do it to in inside they think the same way, even though on the surface they don't appear like it inside. They're going to appreciate it. And even if it even if it's misunderstood at first, you still want to do it because you're going to pick up and see something that no one else is going to see first. And we have look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize, which if you don't get by now. So I'm going to now pull cards for the 12 signs and um the theme that I have for everybody now is the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is saying, do not necessarily shut up, Siri. The two of pentacles is saying that you don't necessarily want to um, give up your, you, you don't want to spread your apples too thin. I like the two of pentacles because you definitely can be in a position where you stay productive and busy, but it's saying if you have the opportunity to see multiple people, take that opportunity. Venus and Sagittarius wants you to experiment possibilities. All right. And we have have patience. Love is patient and kind. All right. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, before I get into the 12 signs, I still have the link below to my love reading so in a recorded or live love reading you will be given access to understanding a personal look of how the astrology will influence your zodiac chart and tarot cards that we will implement a personal um Love Oracle card and certain tarot card spreads as well. Well, not certain tarot card spreads, but I will pull a direct yes or no card for anyone you have in mind, or we can look into some spreads if there's any juicy situations you want us to look into. I got you. And, uh, but besides that, this is really more so for those of you who are serious about looking into, you know, specifics and relationships. What I recommend for you, I have in the link below a twin flame reading and a soulmate reading. The soulmate reading is a 10 card tarot spread that will look into the challenges you may have, obstacles getting in the way of love, any current potential, what's looking forward for you in love, any guidance. It's a very comprehensive spread that will definitely and assuredly really take away any unclarity and really just puts you in the right place. If you feel like you already know what's in your love life, it's still good for you because it's great confirmation. If you're single and you want to stay single, this is also going to help because love doesn't necessarily mean relationships. This is a soulmate spread that will really key out the context of anyone in your life. The twin flame spread takes this a step further and I pull two different spreads while also looking into what is common between you two. This is perfect if you already know who your twin flame might be, or if you're interested and you think someone is your twin flame, seeing those two spreads will let me know if the feelings between you two are one-sided or whether there's a connection there and it'll help you. It'll also illuminate unconscious influences getting in the way of the relationship. One is $11, the other is $9. So if you get both, they're both on sale, you can get them for 20 all right. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm excited to do those because tarot, I definitely love everyone who's had a tarot reading with me um, has known it's always accurate. So definitely hook it up or uh, definitely, you know, uh, purchase the link. I will hook it up. And yeah, let's get to the tarot cards, which the link, by the way, is in the description below. Aries, Aries rising, Aries moon. 
we have the two of cups so this week you're going to find yourself connecting with someone very spiritually you might be working with them on a project the two of cups signifies a sacred marriage on a soul level where two people are sharing mutual emotions for each other and uh this is going to be very powerful especially if you're single Things are going to shift. For those of you in relationships, you're going to find really increased compatibility with your partner. Taurus, Taurus moon, Taurus rising. The card that I have for you is the four of pentacles. And this is very interesting because the stability that you'll be gaining and the security that you'll be gaining financially is definitely going to align well with future romantic prospects or any existing relationships. You're in, if you're in a relationship, you're in a very great relationship that you want to hold on to and not necessarily take for granted. Not that you are, Taurus. And this is a sun in Capricorn card. So for some of you, a Capricorn may be very uh, important for you this week. But yeah, to be very mindful about what is being done to secure greater stability in your relationships because that's what's going to happen all right gemini gemini moon gemini rising we have the star card oh my goodness would you look at that the star card is definitely speaking to just like in the air card miracles and blessings but this is really more speaking to some of your wildest dreams finally coming to pass when it comes to love and romance with you keep the dream alive what is the dream relationship you want and you may find somebody who uh, is very much so in a you know position of notoriety reaches out to you or you really gain a renewal and more faith when it comes to love this week cancer cancer moon cancer rising the card that we have for you is also the two of cups so cancer you're definitely going to find yourself connecting with someone in a very deeply emotional way that definitely has you both feel in to the shared chemistry you have this is something that you're going to indefinitely be able to build and foster and nurture and you really want to take solace in the fact that the deep feelings you have for this individual they definitely share them too and this mutual love will be expressed this week leo leo moon leo rising we have the two of wands you want to really look out and map your potential there's something about the two of wands that's really awesome because if you're in an existing partnership you'll find that a partner is really starting to align with your goals and see eye to eye with you like never before but this is also going to speak primarily of your willingness to really see what's in your future and what you're willing to to manifest if anything leo where are you directing your life because in order for love to to especially if you're single you need to you this week is a good week to decide where are you going to steer the ship so that this will help the plans that are in motion come better into fruition, all right? And I have a bonus card for you. We have the magician here too, so know that your intentional focus is not in vain. Virgo, Virgo moon, Virgo rising, the card that I have for you is the two of cups. Would you look at that? So Virgo, this is gonna be really soothing for your heart because this is i get the sense for a lot of you single virgos you're gonna really be with someone who at first you you weren't you might have not been sure about but now you're gonna know they are the person for your heart and for some of you this could be bordering twin flame levels where you shatter any doubts that uh might have come up between you and someone who you felt was virgo for you especially that person who in your heart you feel is the one for you is the one if this hasn't been acknowledged libra libra moon libra rising we have the the two of cups the two of cups is also so is everyone getting married this week like what's going on all right the two of cups libra is talking about yeah you're sealing the deal with someone too. Aphrodite, Juno, what's going on? Did you guys get drunk in this new moon in Sag? I think Venus and Juno got drunk as hell and they're like, we're gonna, we're gonna put everyone in relationships this week. 
because I mean, I don't know about you, but that new moon in Sag was a part. Even Saturn was getting lit. So I guess Saturn's like, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Damn, we're about to have a lot of breakups in two weeks. I'm joking. So yeah, Libra, this is this is really awesome. Like. Damn. I mean, I'm just basically the echo of the other two of cups messages that I got. And, uh, this is going to permeate a lot more in other relationships outside of romance because you'll finally have felt that juice, that, that balancing influence open your heart as someone is loving you mutually. Scorpio, Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. We have the king of swords. The King of Swords is saying, believe it or not, a cold and objective approach. A cold and objective approach is what's going to be more necessary in love than for this week than being a bit too emotional, which I don't really feel like you would have been too emotional, if anything. But you want to really uh, find more realistic ways to express your logic. And this is also speaking of directly dealing with such a detached figure that will be dropping knowledge on you. In other words, for you single Scorpios, look to this King of Swords to be so in as a romantic potential. Uh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Moon, Sagittarius Rising. Oh, I also got the King of Swords. So let me, let me draw it again. Hope I didn't just jinx this reading. Uh, the card we have for, oh, no, no one. Oh my God. No, I did it. We have the two of cups. Oops. I just kind of. Yeah, that's what I get for my antics. Sagittarius, welcome to the club. All right, you you fallen in love too, and it's with this. It's with the twin flame. If you're with someone already, soulmate, twin flame, it don't matter. Sagittarius, it's time to go deeper because Saturn's out your sign this week. So that person that you've been wanting to connect with but haven't been able to because you've been blocked left and right, not this time. Not this time, Sag. Not this time. You go get some. Go get some, Sagittarius. Capricorn. Capricorn rising. Capricorn. Core mood. We have the seven of pentacles. So don't worry. Love is coming for you too soon. They're just things and outside influences that need to um, occur. And this is also saying that this week there is going to be a positive development, but just give it a certain time because it won't really spark immediately. Aquarius, Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. Sorry if it sounds like I skipped. I had to pause this real quick. Food was calling. But yes, Capricorn, once again, patience is going to be very necessary, but not a lot of patience. Um, it's just kind of, you know, timing things since you're all about the right timing. Aquarius, Aquarius moon, Aquarius rising. We have the judgment card. So frauds and liars are going to be exposed, but this isn't about exposing frauds and liars. This is about aligning to your higher purpose, and you're going to find relationships do just that to where whoever you bond with significantly aligns you to the true meaning of things, and you gain greater context of what the hell may or may not have been going on in your life for better or for worse. Finally, the card we have for Pisces, Pisces Moon. And Pisces rising. Is the Queen of Pentacles. So where Scorpio is going to be influenced by the King of Swords. Dealing with very much so a critical influence. You will be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. A more Capricornian influence that will guide your steps but also is similar to scorpio wanting you to be more practical in your approach and really nurture yourself to attract the right love to you but for many of you this may be a friend who gives you some very valuable advice that you're going to want to take uh no matter what okay so thank you guys once again please comment your experiences uh below in the comment section and also, you know, make a wish, make a wish, comment your wish below on what you want for love. And we're all going to do a wish pool to grant every wish that's commented down below and, and let it be like a wild dream too. It doesn't have to be anything conventional and we'll see what wishes come true this week. Peace.